All right, all right. So what's up? What's up, man? I uh, see a few people that was here earlier. You know what I mean? But for the people uh, who don't know, I'm Chris Cole from K104. I know you know me. You know me. You don't. You don't. You don't. You wasn't here earlier, right? What's up, little man? What's your name? Yeah? You like radio? A little bit. You think you can be a star on TV or something? It's possible. Radio? Strict basketball? I can beat you, man. You, think, you ready? You got a ball? If I <laughs> You hear him, D? <laughs> yeah. 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 That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. Keep keep that confidence, baby. Remember that same confidence, man, is what you gotta have uh going uh going into something like this, man. This ain't no joke, man. This is this is radio, baby. It's big time. Crack that mic, and you know, it's one million, two million people listening. You can't be scared, man. That's that's exciting right there, man. You in that room all by yourself, and you think you just just you? Nah, man. Everybody's listening, and the power you got with this mic, whatever you say, man, it could change your life. It can make somebody laugh. It can make somebody cry. You might have to break some news, or you can sound like the biggest jerk off. You know, you you know what I mean? Like this mic. You can do so much with this mic, and it's all gonna be about the confidence that you have. The same confidence that I stand right here and talk to you with right now is the same. D know me, D grew up with me, man. The same confidence I've always had. When I wanna do something, I'm gonna go do it. Just as sure as you know, like when you get that burger and you see it, like I'm about to eat this burger. This thing about to be good. You know, that's the same confidence you gotta go into it, man, whenever you doing radio. You know what I'm saying? When you speaking to people, man. So I wanna make this pretty simple, man. I wanna go through, I'm just, I'm gonna ask some, uh, let y'all ask some questions from there. We'll go from uh, go from the, from there and uh, hopefully I can get everything uh, 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 accomplished that y'all came here to, what y'all came here for today, all right? So, first of all, man, what's your name? name's Nick. All right, cool, where you from, Nick? All right, cool. What's your name? Vladimir. All right, cool. Your name? Wallace. All right. Yeah. Of course. K. Kelly. K. Kelly. All right, cool. And I know you guys from uh, from earlier. All right, man. So, uh, what's your main reason why coming coming here today? What's your questions about radio? And uh, and uh, you know, I know you got to have something going in your mind. Like, yo, how do I get here? What do I got to do? Shoot. Right. Right. I'm getting older now, so I'm like going to sit back and I like talking to people. And I'm like, I want to be more involved with the community. Right. Right. All right. What do you What do you want to do? You want to do like news? You want to do sports? Or you want to talk on the radio? But be behind the scenes? You want? All of that. All right. Cool. Cool. What about you? Um, I came because I actually radio. If you think about it, radio is always like there when we tell you on stuff. Right. So whenever I like, I got I recently got a job at a radio station. Cool. And I where you at? Um, CBS Radio. Okay. I'm a promotion assistant. Oh, okay. Cool. Right. So I came here because I want to further my career and I think this would be a great place to start. Yeah, it's definitely a great place to start, man. This is the the place to start. What about you, my man? Uh, I'm here for sports, but I do have some questions for you. Okay. Uh, now, you, from what I'm saying, you like you did stuff before you actually went to school here. Was yeah. Like that, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, mostly, man, uh, within within music, doing a bunch of shows, or just really, uh, anytime I seen an opportunity to help a situation as far as like uh, coordinating festivals, stuff like that, like Juneteenth Festival and didn't, you know what I mean? If they if they need some help marketing or promoting, I'll go make my own flyers. Like, don't give me the money to go do it. I'll go to Kinko's and do it myself, get the word out, let me show you what I can do. 
of y'all uh, coordinating the, the the artists, the shows, making sure everything went on time, things like that. Uh, I did a, a, a local TV show called PR Report, uh, Politics and Rhymes, uh, you know, where we uh, gave the opportunity of people like me and you and, and college students and mainly the hip hop community to voice their opinion about what was going on socially in, in our community and how we could fix it. You know what I mean? Did things like that. And uh, anytime I got a big show, uh, if I performed on a big show, then that went down on my resume. You know what I mean? Like 35 did in festival and things like that. And performing on the main stage for that before I got at the job at K104, that counted because I promoted for that. I marketed it for that, my own performance. So yeah, I was a part of that machine. You know what I mean? Everything that you do, it goes on your resume. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. So would you say that the stuff that you did it would be the it would be the school because the resume can do so much but if your air check don't sound right then you ain't got no job it's that air check mainly what they're gonna listen to that resume is a plus they'll they've hired like man cat daddy from k104 that dude got a radio job because he had so much swag when one of the program directors was ordering food through a, through a drive-thru he was working at no, no, no prior history of anything. He just was swagged up. He was working drive-through, program director, ordered some food on the right night. And he's like, man, what do you do, man? I just go to school and I work here. What do you do? I work at a radio station, call me. And that's how he got his job. You know what I mean? If your, if your, if your sound check is right, you in there. If you got a resume, that, that, that can go with it, man, that's cool. You, everything you learn right here, though, is everything you need to know. I mean, I, I mean, it's people that walk through here with talent, but uh, it's a science to radio, man. It's a science, the, the front sales, the back sell, the teases, uh, knowing how to get in and get out of breaks. So smooth, how, do you, how does that conversation seem like it's so smooth? I always say you, not I, little things like that. You know what I mean? When I'm, when I'm talking on the radio, I say you, because I got to keep it one-on-one. -on -one. Even though it's millions of people listening, when I say you, it sounds like it's just me and you when you ride in that car. If I say y'all, it's not as personal. See, it's little things like that, you know what I mean, that you got to continuously tweak, and, and, they, and they teach you things like that when you're at this school. You speak about, uh, you know, you do behind the scenes and all that type of stuff, and you want to learn... Uh, uh, different things to do behind the scenes. Man, you learn all that here. This is not only the place where you can learn to be a star and talk on the radio, but if you want to be behind the scenes and do the, uh, the technician side, uh, the paperwork, the commercial copywriting, just simply being a voiceover, having a great voice, like, like my man Ian right here, the, the, the instructor right here, you know what I mean? He was my teacher. This dude's voice though, this is midnight love voice right here, man. You know what I mean? And, and just being able to know where you can put your voice and use it. And not only not knowing how to use it, but where you can sign up and actually get the jobs. Because that's the thing, we don't, we, we don't know. You know what I'm saying? Me, we, we kids from the same hood. And we know that it's money out there to do things like this, but we don't know where we could go and get it. You know what I mean? K. Kelly, I met you in, in, in about two years ago. You know what I'm saying? But the things that, that, that I've amassed uh, uh, from going to this school that you have and you can take advantage of, and it's no telling where you could be because you got the voice and you got the drive to do it. You know what I'm saying? You just need to know where to do it. You know, and you just need to know the technician and the side, the science of talking on the radio and, 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 and the, the, the little things, you know what I mean? Everybody see the dude talking on the radio, taking the pictures and whoop de whoop and all of that, man. But what about all the, the, the growth, the show prep and everything that goes into being able to make that 20 seconds of talking sound so magnificent and so fun? Jeezy. Coming March 21st, Southside Ballroom. You want these tickets? I need you to hit me up right. No, not right now. I got them coming up, though. Keep it locked. K104. That little tease right there just gained me maybe 300 people waiting for 20 minutes to see when I'm going give, to give away those tickets. 
That 300 people could be a raise. You get what I'm saying? That 300 people, maybe, maybe, maybe Jeezy's manager was listening. I like the way he did that. I want him to do our commercials every time he comes. You just don't know. You know what I'm saying? But it was just little sciences and little, little things, subtle things that you'll learn at this school. One-on-one -on -one instructors. You know what I mean? No English, bro. No English. None at all. No math. You know what I mean? No world geography. None of that. Strictly radio. Strictly music. And a big catalog of music at that, man. You know what I mean? I'm, I, I burned so many CDs here, y'all. <laughs> Straight up, man. I got, I got the whole catalog at the house, man. The music is great. That's what all brought us here, man. And you get it all right here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. What, what's up with you, man? Tell everybody what you do, though. Right. And uh, like you say, you know, tuning up, learning the different things can, that can by uh, help me grow in this industry. Right. Go ahead, dude. Uh, you already know, man. Me and you grew up together. Seeing you go from basketball star, football star, to rapping, to now really hustling and grinding to get a voice out there, and now I'm changing from I also you go to to Chris Cole. That's it's, it's amazing. You know what I'm saying? So. Me, I'm here today to try to get a little more knowledge and see exactly what it is that I have a voice as well. You know, right. We're trying to make a move, we're trying to push, but in order to push, you have to have the necessary tools and, and learn a new craft. So I'm, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone to really to start get, get, a, get a voice out here now. Right. You know, and really, really, really do something. Because you know, you already know how small I didn't yeah. know what we deal with. Yeah. But now I'm really trying to get out here. And now I'm, and now I'm in the valley. Right. So much opportunity, but we don't want to help the next one. We don't want to help this one, but I, I can help them with that. Right. I can, I can be that voice for them people that, hey, let me tune in, let me see what he got going today. Right. Most definitely, man. And you know, all of that, man. We say is, uh, you know, stepping out of your comfort zone and uh, and, and uh, fine tuning the skills that you already got. You know, what I mean those. Basically, it's right here. The first, the first step into being able to step out of your comfort zone, like I was telling the students earlier, man, that's that's all about imagination. I mean, I'm, and I, I say this because last year I won a, uh, the the head A and R for for good music, Kanye West label. They had a showcase. I won it. So I got a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with him and, you know, get to talk to him, work with him. And he, he hit me with this, man, the best resource that you have is the things that are around you. And people always talk about, I don't got the money to do this or the money to do that. And they all, we always chase down somebody else. Hey, man, can you help me with this? When it, really the answer is already around you the resources that are around you and none more important resource that you have is your imagination that's what he hit me but this is Kanye West's best friend I mean this dude been knowing him before the the, uh, the mouth was wired before we knew his name you know what I'm saying and, and, and somebody tell me something like that and when I started to apply that it made more sense so when you start about stepping out of your comfort zone man it's 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 just all up in here anyways, man. You know, when the, whenever you wanna, when you, when you grab that ball, man, and you square up and you say, I'ma dribble between the legs, I'ma cross over, then I'ma shoot. You thought of it first and then you went for it. You know what I'm saying? It was all in the imagination. You know what I mean? So whatever that comes to your mind is just nothing about going, really going after it and doing it. So the same thing with, with the radio, man. It's just, I'ma say it like this. I'm going to get this type of arouse out of people, and then I'm going to follow it up like this. You know what I mean? And you see it before it happens, it can, it can definitely happen. You say you're going to change lives in a certain type of way and impact people, it can happen. 
you uh what's that dude name on fox news uh that everybody can't stand bill o'reilly you think he don't know what he doing you think he don't say the stuff that he gonna say because he know it's gonna get people mad he don't even believe half of the stuff he's saying y'all he just know it's gonna get this certain type of arousal out of people it's gonna make some people like yeah and then some like man this this clown but guess what people watching people watching and his ratings is going up and he getting million dollar checks and bonuses because he can see it before it happens and we all have the same power man but sometimes you know we'll rather play madden and put our imagination to hey man i'm about to throw this bomb he gonna catch this on it and I'm gonna talk crazy to my homeboy that has scored on him. You put that same time and effort into doing what you love to do, man. It's endless what you can create, what you can do. Creativity doesn't stop. It only stops when you stop using it. But the more you use it, the more thoughts that come. And that's how radio is, cause you're like, man, like you get, you get four breaks an hour, two shorts and two longs, and most of it is freestyle. And you gotta do it different every time. So, man, yeah, there's a lot of creativity coming, bro. I, if I say the same thing the same way every time, people is not going to listen. You know what I mean? You got to switch it up. So you're basically freestyling on the, fry every, on the fly every time with bullet points with a certain amount of seconds to talk. Because you will get a phone call like, what was that? <laughs> you know, uh, the boss don't play. Like, man, what was that? tune it down a little bit you know what I mean so you got to be on point man but imagination man I'm telling y'all right now it's the best tool that you got it's the best thing you can use man what's your name bro Hi, huh Hi, all right cool where you from man Baltimore. already man what's your name mama Danielle. all right cool you from Baltimore too Baltimore. already nice to meet y'all thanks for coming so you want to be in radio or yeah, I graduated. all right when'd you graduate Oh man, hey y'all give her a hand, yo. Give her a hand, yo. Yeah, yeah. You thinking about doing radio too, man, or something? Yeah, I'm thinking about doing music. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. All love it, man. Yeah, that's how I am, man. It don't matter what it is. I just want to be in the music business, you know. You know, I was, you know, I was telling people, man, like this, this school, man. Uh, for those who want to go or don't know me, like, look, man, when they say. Uh, lifetime job placement that's real you know what I'm saying this ain't no joke I got my job at K104 through this school like Michelle sends out a a, a, a email every day jobs that are hiring around the country mainly in Texas and Oklahoma I check that thing every day I still check it not as much but I still check it you know what I mean and that's how I found the job it's that simple it wasn't what everybody was telling me, uh, you need to know somebody at the radio station to get a job. I ain't know nobody. I just knew I wanted a job. And I knew I wasn't going to be filling out jobs for anything that I didn't want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't going to be filling out jobs at Burger King because I didn't want to flip burgers. I wasn't going to be doing nothing at a warehouse because I didn't want to work there. I wanted a job in radio or I wanted a job at a record label. It's one or the other. So that's all I'm filling out apps for. And I ain't trying to hear anything else. You know what I mean? Oh, this place is hiring for 22 an hour. That's cool. You go get that. I'll start over here at nine if I'm doing what I love to do. This money ain't gonna matter because eventually, if I get good at where I'm getting, man, I'm gonna be wait, making way more than 22 an hour, bro. And even if I'm making nine over here, I'm doing what I love to do. And I'm happy with that. You know what I mean? I could put the grind into doing, getting another part-time job, doing what I love to do. As long as I'm happy, you can't put a price on that. You can't put a price on music, bro. <laughs> music? This ain't even a job, man. Honestly, what I'm doing, bro, this ain't even a job. I'm living a dream right now, man. You know what I mean? I ain't got to look over my shoulder. You know what I mean? I ain't got no cops coming after me no more, DeAnthony. I'm good, you know what I mean? Like, man, I, I create every day. And it all, I'm telling you, it all started right here, though, man. American Broadcasting School, this is the place to be. I know a lot of people that, I know so many people that, that went to four-year universities, they got their communications degree, they did the TV, they did the radio at the four-year university, but, man, they were so lost. 
when they graduated. And I, don't, I ain't met nobody that went to a four-year university that got a job in radio or TV from it. I don't know anybody, maybe y'all do. Because I don't know anybody. But I can walk down that hall right now and you can see all these letters. You know what I'm saying? I work with the music director at K104, she went here. DJ Chaotic in 97.9 went here. You know what I mean? He back and forth to New York every day. You know what I'm saying? I went here, I know it's possible. You know what I mean, right here at this school. Y'all shoot me, hey, what's, uh, what's, what's your favorite thing about uh, ABS though, being there? Talking on the, talking on the mic? Yeah, what about the commercials and all of that? Commercials, everything. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I to do for a long time. Right. Yeah. That's what's up right there, man. So man, it's like like to me when we if y'all like when you hear man, they, they they do these things where you know you gotta write your own commercials, they teach you how to do it, the pinpoints of thirty seconds or sixty seconds. Then you go in front of the class and you deliver it, man. But man, it's so much fun. It, it, I'm telling you, man, it, it's just so much fun to see so much creativity and to see the people around you that all they want to do is the same thing you want to do. You don't got nobody coming here trying to, because they got a scholarship to play sports or they trying to be an English major or a rocket scientist, man. They, they strictly here for radio, music, and that's it. The love of music and wanting to talk on the radio or be behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Like, you already in the game. You just need to know some fine points, man. You can be working at the station, going to school here, getting your resume, your air check right, and then be like, yo, man, this is what I sound like. And as soon as some, the door opens up, like, hey, man, we might have a place for you. Because you go over there, they probably, it's not too much, you know, they can really, you know, give you no airtime or, or, or check you out. You know, because they'll have to, you have, they'll have to teach you how to be a star where you can already come there and be like, yo, I'm already good. If you just give me some air time, I'll get better over time. Now, you got a real good shot if you come to this school and do that, man. You got a really good shot, man. You just got to just go forward, man. What's stopping anybody from going to this school? Is anything stopping anybody from going to this school? Nothing. This is what it's driving, driving, yeah, yeah. I'm already gone, so. Right. It's really trying to just see. Just, I told them to step out of my comfort zone. Right. I've been on that road. That's all I've been on. Right. This, it would be something different, but, you know, I pick it up with a Right. Right, right. The flexibility with uh, everybody's schedules, man. Was it, is it still Tuesdays and Thursdays? Tuesdays and Thursday morning class, night class, and then uh, what was it? Also got the online classes, too, right? It's very flexible. Uh, the one-on-one -on -one time you get with uh, with instructors is the best time. When you go in that and they when they send everybody into a room, and you uh you do your you make your show, you cut a tape, your little demo tape, uh, which which we call air checks, and then you sit down with an instructor, like this guy right here, man. <laughs> Some people get torn into pieces. But it's all for the good. I've got torn into pieces by this guy, man. But it was it was the best thing. Some people are shy away. They're like, man, no, nah, I'm doing it this way. Or, or say yes and then come and talk crazy to the other students. Like, man, he in there tripping. I seen guys quit, you know what I mean, real early. But instead, and instead of just being like, I get what you're saying, I'm going to apply that. Because this guy had a radio show before. He done it. He had done it so well that he teaching. He teaching me. I'm going to take advantage of that. And he ain't the only one. It's other teachers in here. They know what they doing. And you know what? They want to see you go, go far. But they ain't going to stress if you, if you stressing them. You know what I mean? Like, hey, well, I tried. Because so, at the end of the day, it's all about what you're going to make out of it anyway, man. A lot of people graduated high school, but... What did they do after that, man? They just thought the world was going to come to them. I mean, a lot of people graduate college. I got my diploma. Oh, I'm in there. Let's go celebrate. That celebration lasts about 20 years. 
I got my diploma and I, I can't get a job. They probably filled out for about one or two jobs and just gave up, man. I filled out 25 apps a day. Easy, nothing. I told the morning class, the, the, the serious about it, I still get emails saying I didn't get the job from two years ago. I got one two weeks ago from Clear Channel. You didn't get this job, sorry, we decided to go somewhere else. I got a job, now I'm good. I'm at 104, been there for two years, but I'm, put, I'm putting in the maps, baby. I ain't wasting no time. I want this. I don't, I don't want to put in apps nowhere else. I want to do radio. I went to school for this. I started putting in apps before I graduated. Michelle helped me put, put my resume together. Hey, I know these places that are hiring. I'm gonna be sending out these emails. You know how to do a cover letter? I don't even know what a cover letter is. Okay, well we gonna help you with that. We gonna help every single person one by one. And then it's up to you just about how you gonna uh, you know how many jobs you want to fill out and I say 25 apps like man, that's a lot but it ain't man because you fill out an app at CBS Radio or Clear Channel you upload your resume you upload your cover letter one time just one time and then from there you can click every day what jobs is open all you gotta do is select and then submit and then send it to all of those uh, job openings so it ain't nothing but I'm telling you, more people, they'll rather be like, man, I'll do that later, man, but I'm gonna play a full hour on this Madden game real quick instead of spending 15 minutes to do that resume and that air check, you know what I mean? And then spending another 15 minutes looking for the job and just simply selecting. Why you, do, you know what I mean? That every day to select, submit, this is where I wanna go. You know what I mean? What do you wanna do? What, uh, what radio genre you wanna do? Yeah. Get myself out there, get my feet wet, and just. Go. Yeah. Really, right. Uh, you know, I can act too, so. Yeah. So, it's, the door is open. open. Yes. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. What about you, man? What kind of genre are you Sports. doing? Sports. Sports? Yeah. What, uh, yeah, what about you, bro? Everything. 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 Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about you? Right, right. So what about you? I'm everything. Everything. Yeah. And you? I want to get more into A&R. It's a dream job for me, too, being an A&R. I just started putting in applications for that, man. They got some uh, openings at Warner Brothers and Atlantic and all of that. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I just started putting in apps for that. Yeah, most of death, I'm going for it, man. Yeah, go for it, man. Go for it. What about you, bro? Oh, it's cool. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Hey, hey, man, I came in here, man. Of course, I wanted to be in hip hop and R and B or whatever the case, man. I was like, hey, I, I, I'll do the deep voice. Hey, baby, this is Chris such and such, and you're on the Soul Love Station. Well, I, I do. I want to do all of that, man. But I went into it with an open mind, knowing that I might have to do bluegrass. And it may not be right here in Dallas. I might have to do country. I might have to do a uh, 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 classical rock. And it may be in Wyoming, in the middle of nowhere, at, at, a, at a city I've never heard of. It may be in New York. It may be in Albany. Man, I may end up in Italy. But as soon as I get that job, I'm packing up and I'm leaving. And I don't care if it's hip hop. I want to be within the music industry because that's, that's most likely what's going to happen. If you want that job, it may not be in hip hop and R&B first if that's what you want. It may, not, it may not be in sports first. You may end up at a, at a pop station doing the sports portion of the morning show and that's it. But hey man, that that's that's cool. You may you, that's where you may end up at. You may end up, you may end up just being the, the the traffic person. But that's gonna go on your resume. And as long as you keep on submitting your air checks, you can get where you want to be. But you in the industry, you got your foot in the door. What you want at first ain't always gonna happen. 
it ain't always going to happen. The more apps you put out, though, I mean, you got a better chance of getting it. You know what I mean? Like V103 in Atlanta is hiring right now. I used to live in Atlanta. That's my second home. I would love to have that job. You know what I mean? And there's so many people applying for that. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I get it. Maybe I don't. But I'm telling you right now, if Lafayette end up calling me first, you got daytime, we paying you, I'm there. Atlanta is on hold. And that's all it is to it. And I'm going to build my name up and I'm going to make sure that they make sure that next time they have an opening, they don't even put it online. They're going to call me directly. Like, we want you. That's what it's about. Building it up. Building your name up. It's all a game. Like I said, this is my Madden. I don't, I don't have nothing. I don't, I don't play that. I don't play NBA Live. I don't play Assassin's Creed. I don't play none of these games because marketing, music, and radio is my game. Making it, being successful is my game. I hate losing. I don't mind losing, but I hate losing. My only fear is not trying. I would go my all. I would go I would everything I give. I promise I would go until I fall. If it's if if I show up and it's only one person here, I'm gonna be the same passionate person. I'm gonna speak the same way. I'm gonna give everything I got to you. Cause I, I love to win. And you gotta have that. You gotta attack it with that every time. Cause if you don't, it's somebody that is, man. Straight up, man. Especially with this radio, because everybody wants to do it. I mean, everybody wants to do it. Everybody wants to be a star on the radio. Everybody wanna put in the time and the effort. And it's really not that hard. It's like it's all starting your imagination and fine tuning the things that you need to know. And you gotta learn from people that's already done it. That's why you come to American Broadcasting School. Uh, how long was it before when you graduated before you get the job? I graduated June 2012. I got hired September 2012. Yeah. What are some things that, like, once you get done with school or the end of school, that we can do that would help us get to where we want to go? Like, out, almost outside of school. Outside of school, some yeah. things you can do. Once you get towards the end of school and stuff, I mean, maybe yeah. after I would say, you know, don't even, don't even wait until then to start immediately. Uh, whatever you, whatever you got in your mind, man. Whatever you can think of, if it's an event that you want to coordinate, go and do it. Or if you got an idea for a show, go ahead and start it online. Go ahead and make some, uh, some, some resumes or make some videos on YouTube. You know what I mean? Just show show people that that are that are hire you hire you in any way that you're active in trying to do what you already want to do. Just, people just want to man. People want to help people. They just want to see that you want to help yourself. And then from there, like doors are just open because like like people want to spend money, but they just want to see what you're going to do with it. You know what I mean? So. When it comes, like, like, don't wait until I already graduated or I'm getting close to graduating. Start now. Start thinking about what are some things that I can do that's going to bring attention to me and my skills. And for each person, it's different. For me, it was like, I'm going to continue to do, do the biggest shows and network with as many people as possible. I'm gonna start performing with a band and an orchestra because I feel like it. Because nobody else is doing it. And I, I felt like doing it. You know what I mean? The, things like that, just out the box. Whatever you can think of, just go for it. Go for it, don't be afraid of failing. Be afraid of not trying because that, the moments pass by and you're like, damn, well, maybe I should have did that. What's stopping you from picking up and doing it right, right now? Nothing. Man, I'm, I'm almost 40. When I was, I could have did this when I was 20. I was, man, what's stopping you from doing it now? At 40, nothing. I'm, man, I'm about to be 25, man. I could have did this when I was 18 and all of that. And so, some years passed. Some more obstacles came about. Overcome them. Find a way. 
So you don't have 12 hours of free time now. You only got four. Make, make use of it. Yeah. And everything that you do, put it on your resume. Every single thing you do. Um, with technology. Yeah. Yeah. How do you think the school and yourself always keep updated on that? With technology? Yeah. Because you know, like, everything you have on the app or on the online, like, how do you prepare yourself for whenever something new comes out? When something new comes out, I mean, just, I just check it out. If I feel like it can apply to uh, my everyday uh, living or what I do as my job, then I'll apply it, I'll learn it. And if I don't think it will, then I don't even. Bother my, bother my time with it because it's always something new coming out. I mean, especially with social media. I mean, they got something new coming out every day. I'm like, man, I don't want to meet that many people online. You know what I mean? It's, you got Kick and you got Skype. You got Instagram and Tumblr. Those are the same things. And Twitters and Facebooks and all of that. I mean, you only need a few of them to master it and move forward. When it comes to apps, I mean, if you can make an app about what you do already, like what you got going on, hey, that's cool. Wouldn't that be cool to present at, 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 at your interview? They're like, man, look, check out this app that I got, man. Hey, look, man, it shows me uh, uh, snowboarding with me and my friends. We got crazy hits on here, man. I, hey, man, check out this one right here. Yo, man, we at this concert and we even got like interview with the with the fans. Now we didn't get the star, but we got the fans and they was wilding. Oh, you know how to edit videos? Yeah, man, I know how to edit videos. I can do that too. Oh, word. Hey, that's some nice photography. You took that photo. Me and then I got my I got a team. I got a team who, who we all do this. Oh, word. So you can do. Yeah, 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 man. That looks good when you're at that interview. You know what, man? I think we might give you this job, man, because we see other assets where, where, that you have that we can use that may help us in the station. So if you, gotta, if you know how to build an app, then do that. You know what I mean? But did that pretty much answer your question? All right, cool. What's up? Man, I was homeless at one point. From that, I was in the streets because I wasn't going to sleep on a floor outside once again because I did it twice. And then I lived like 33 homes within the span of three or four years. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I, I, and I caught my cases. I'm a, I'm, I'm a two-time felon. You looking at one. So what? It's just felon. It doesn't mean anything. My real name is Chris Avant, though. I'm a certified go-getter. And I can do that legally, too. Yeah. So, plenty of obstacles. Lost people. You know what I mean? Jail. Seen death. Lost my life a couple times, pretty much. Yeah. But, hey, man. What I'm going through, man, it ain't, it, y'all, everybody got something they didn't go through in here, man. You know what I mean? So... I just look at it as more motivation. You know what I mean? God got me, man. I believe that, man. It's Psalms 23-4, the, the black arm, the key of life, all of that, man. This ain't for no show. You know what I mean? I know I'm here for a purpose, baby. Everybody is. It's just a matter of finding your niche and what, what he trying to use you for. See, some people, man, some people just meant to be comedians. Some people need that laughter. Like Michael Shine on DD in the morning. That dude right there, funny. And he like that in real life. Ricky Smiley, he's just funny. People need that in their life. People don't want to be preached to all the time. I don't feel like this man preaching to me all the time, telling me what I need to do. You can show me. Show me through action, though. You know what I mean? Some people, some people got the gift of gab of just a good conversation. You know what I mean? But you see, the, every, the universe is going to use you. You know what I mean? You just got to let go. Sometimes and stop telling yourself what you what you can't do all the time, man, and just go for it. And let the universe just take control, man, because it's always listening. That positive energy is always flowing. When you're around negative people, negative things happen. 
Nobody want to hear nobody complaining all the time. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So just get out there and go get it. I don't even complain no more. If I got a problem, I just say, hey, man, I'm going to handle it. You know what I mean? So what's, what's a trial and a tribulation, man? It's, it's motivation. It's motivation, man. It's motivation, man. I find myself getting into, you know, people may do some things that would have made me mad, made me mad back then, D. Well, I would have flipped, you know what I mean, and, and been ready to fight. Now, I just, man, I just be like, man, well, you thank you. You know, thank, thank you for giving me another reason to go even harder. You know what I mean? I can't even entertain it, man. Five years from now, I man, I see myself I see myself signed to a label within five years, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, within five years, past sign, album out, working behind the scenes in radio and TV. Yeah, that's where I see myself. And overall, that's my goal anyways, is to run a radio station, a TV station, and a successful label. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm front scenes now, you know what I mean? I talk on air, I, you know what I mean? I do appearances, get my face out there, man. But I ultimately, I really would like to be behind the scenes. I love just seeing how things work and being, being able to stand on the sideline and knowing like that was supposed to be there at the right time and it happened and it made the crowd go wild and I didn't get no credit for it and that's fine because I don't do it for credit, I do it to win. You know what I mean? It's like making that pass that made the pass that made the dunk. You know what I mean? I'm cool with that. I can organize the offense. So that's what eventually where I like to be. Yeah. Man, throw me some questions, man. Yeah, I know you got something. Okay. Yeah. Um, you, you said you work with the radio. You do a radio now. You're nighttime, right? I do nights and weekends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you, like, as far as school, you know how we have to create our own show? Right. Is that what you do at the station, or did your program director have all that stuff for you? How does that work? Uh, my, my job as a... As the overnight guy, uh, when I first came, was was just really station business. Don't be worrying about creating your own show. I kind of bucked the system and did it anyways. Uh, but it was cool. He was like, the after hours, that's cool. But next time, ask permission. You know what I mean? So uh, I did that. And then, uh, you know, he gave me the weekend show. and But mainly... You know, wherever you go, it's about playing your position. When they hired me, they needed somebody that was good at promoting, conversational, and that can direct traffic to the website and the morning show. Because DD in the morning is still fairly new. You know what I mean? But when I got there, it was doing all right, but now it's either number two or number one every month. You know what I mean? So. Sometimes you can get hired, you know, you, you can get hired at a station as you come on as the, the afternoon drive person, you know what I mean? They know they got an idea for, oh, you do that show? We want that show here, you know what I mean? But coming out, coming out the gates, they may be like, we like what you do, this is what we need you to do. And you got to, you know, I had to find myself, I had to fit in within the confines of what was already happening. We had Bebe. I mean, we got Bebe. This dude is, this is big time. We got Cat Daddy. This dude's got the number one radio show in DFW for 12 years straight. Nights. You know what I mean? We got DD in the morning. Well, I'm going to say to her, she goes to meet the president twice. You know what I mean? What can I say, man? I want to learn from that. You know what I mean? So I just play my position. Do what they need me to do. And then whatever I saw uh, places were like, like Sunday. I do the Sunday show, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Why we don't never talk about the Cowboys? All right, cool. Countdown to kickoff right here on K104, your homie Chris Cole. Two hours from kickoff, and I got some passes on the way, too. You want to see Jeezy? Bet. Give me about five minutes, and I got you. You know, just play, play everything in together. I just, I just see what needs to be done and what I can add to my show that'll help the station. You know what I mean? But when, see, when, we at the, when, you at, when you're at American Broadcasting School, though, what it does do, man, you get to – Create your show. I had Go Hard Radio. That was my show at, at K104. Ian, where's Ian at? Yeah. Ian, you remember Go Hard Radio? That was it. 
Yeah, Go Hard Radio with your boy A.V. Yeah, that was V, man. And I brought that there. It's like, first of all, you're not going to be called A.V. You know what I mean? And it's not Go Hard Radio, it's K104. You know what I mean? And I was like, that's cool, just give me the job. You know what I mean? What I'm going to say, man, nah, man, I, I got an idea that's going to work, man. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like, <laughs> man, nah, hey, give me the job. Call me Chewbacca if you want to. Just give me the job. Straight up. I want that. I want that. Hey, what's your name? All right, nice to meet you, man. Did you go to school here? Hey, that's what's up, man. Y'all give her a hand, man. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. So, uh. What did you like? It? <laughs> What's your favorite part about the school, though? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. 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 Looping. Looping. I hated looping. I Yeah. Yeah. But he forced me to do it, so I'm like, all right, I'll do it. And now I love editing and mm -hmm. work together. And when you listen to your commercials, yeah. Wow, I did that. Yeah. And then when folks come to you, like, hey, can you help me? Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's something that I also ultimately want to do. You know, everything. Like they say, I wonder how to do everything. I don't need you. You need someone to break for weather. I can do it. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna be well versed in different departments. And that's 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 good, man. That's that's good. Yo, the avenue streams that that you can that that come from music. I mean, in radio. It's crazy. I mean, you can get paid for just doing the smallest things. Like she said, looping. Like the producer for uh, for Bebe's show, and he's also the dude who trains everybody, but part of his job is looping the instrumentals, the, the talk beds that we d do at K104. Or sometimes, like, when they, like, they'll deliver a song, and it may not have, uh, it may not have a, a, a bed to talk, to talk over before, you know, uh, the song hits. So he'll make the intro. He might find two seconds in the in the song where nope, they wasn't saying nothing, and he just made the he made it for us right there. You know what I mean? So like, like he gets paid for that. You know what I mean? Who think you get you get paid? He got paid for looping the beat. That's where he started. You know what I mean? He, he got started just doing that, and then he became the producer. You know what I mean? Like the the avenue streams. That you can that that come from in radio, it's endless, and it's gonna be more. Keep on getting added and added as as long as technology grows. More ways are gonna come. You know what I mean to get money, like the web department and all of that. It's gonna keep on expanding. What about the engineering side too? Money, <laughs> <laughs> bucks, yeah. big bucks. Yeah, they'll, they'll touch on it if you got and if you want to go further questions, man. Holla at Ian, man. Holla at Sacco. You know what I mean? Holla at Michelle. Everybody here is a vet in 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 radio, and and even though they probably not don't have the same show now, they may do spots here and there. 
You know what I mean? Like, it's all here. It's all here. You know what I mean? And you know that can be something that you do on your on your time off too. Is like, man, interning, finding somewhere like, man, learning these certain buttons and just asking questions, man. The crowd that you hang out with, man, will change too, man. Like if if you if you're hanging out with people that's really don't want to do music you might want to change that who, who's really not into radio you know you, you could, might want to find a friend or two who is you know what i'm saying like it's a difference when you go to the club with me than where you go to your go with the rest of the homeboys because see i'm going i'm gonna holler at the dj i'm gonna holler at the promoter i'm gonna holler at this person I'm holler, and i'm out she looks good bruh but i'm cool I'm cool. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I am good. If she don't say nothing to me, I ain't saying nothing to her. I'm going to handle my business and I'm going to get out of here. Nah. <laughs> like me? I would, I'm serious. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do none of it, bro. I'm, I'm good. I'm going to come here, do that, see my homie. What's up, man? We drink? Yeah, let's do that real quick and go handle my business. I'm out. Go to the next club. I used to hit about four spots a night. Man, that was that was that's when gas was high too, D. That's when Bush was still president. <laughs> gas was high, baby, but I was grinding. You know what I mean? I was grinding. You know, what I mean? that's what it took. You know, now so they now it's a little bit easier. That's when MySpace was popping. You know what I mean? Now it's a lot more sites. It makes it a little bit more easier where you don't got to spend as much gas. But man, I. Man, as the times change, I'm changing too. I'm trying to stay ahead of the curve, man. I'm, I'm, I'm out here to win, baby. I'm out here to win. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. The only thing that change, the only this, the only thing that's same, the only thing that's same every day at the radio station is this: prizes gonna be given away and music gonna be played. That's what you can guarantee all the time. You know what I'm saying? And so every time you crack the mic, you try to find another creative way or a different way to say it. You know what I mean? Uh, well, sometimes you might want to recycle, you know, you might want to recycle the story, but you kind of want to change it up. Like I do, like I do a bit called Shots Fired. You know what I mean? And I might use that story once during the week and then once on the weekend if it's big yeah but the same way i said it uh tuesday night ain't the way i'm gonna same way i'm gonna say it saturday at 5 p.m you know what i mean so things 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 don't change in that manner man the hardest the hardest and easiest things about radio is look man the easiest part is this, you you around music, you're doing what you love to do. The hardest part is you hear the same music over and over. And if the people out there that don't work at a radio station is saying that, and radio play the same 12 songs, nobody gonna hear it more than you. <laughs> nobody, <laughs> you gonna hear it. It man, it work. It works differently. It works differently. I mean, I mean, it. Radio research has a lot to do with it. You know, what I mean, they have ways that do the radio research, PPM, and all of that. You you learn that here at uh, ABS about PPM, uh, and you know, well, I mean, social network has a lot to do with it now too. I mean, if something is booming that hard on the internet. It, it might pop up on the radio station for like five days for the research. You know what I mean? And then if it researches well, it may stay in rotation. It may be some deals worked out with record labels and, and, uh, and the program directors, but I don't know. You know what I mean? My job is to deliver tickets uh, uh, and speak about the station business. Anything outside of that, I don't mess with it because it ain't my job title. You know what I mean? I play my position. You know, outside of the station, I stay busy. Make other avenue uh, uh, revenue streams. You know what I mean? I'm a co-music director at Thin Line Music and Film Festival. 
I'm over that whole damn in the whole music department, booking uh, uh, the venues, the artists, from the low tier to the celebrities. You know what I'm saying? Like, I stay busy with that. The Ron Underground concert series, and that's just that stuff. The stuff I do by myself, my own music, and that's a that's a whole nother career itself. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, November 25th, Trees, Dallas. Opening up for Bone Thugs and Harmony. So if y'all need a if y'all need a ticket, it's 35. Holla at your boy. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it for everybody come. I also got some CDs. You know, whatever you got. Um, if it's 50 cent, I'll take it. You can get take a CD. Give me some because it, it costs a dollar to make the CD. You know what I mean? But the hustle don't stop. Yeah, the hustle don't stop. Stay stay busy. What's the biggest difference of like uh, from doing shows here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The biggest, the biggest, the uh, the biggest difference is, you know, station business. You know, they have a they have a certain mold, how they want you to do it. You know what I mean? Like you learned that the talk letters here is KABS. You know what I mean? Uh, and they may want you to start out with that, or they may at least want throw it in there somewhere. Uh, K104 It's K104 Hip Hop And R&B Or it may be K104 Hip Hop And R&B The only station That pays your bills Or now it's K104 Hip Hop And R&B Home of Kwanzaa Fest Powered by 1-800 Car Wreck I gotta say Powered by 1-800 Car Wreck Because that's who's Sponsoring the event And if I don't Handle station biz Then we might lose money They'd be like Man y'all ain't even Saying who's sponsoring it You get what I'm saying Uh Uh it's, uh, you know, you might get 25 seconds to do your long breaks at one station. This place may only give you 20, and they may have the clock that counts down. You don't have that here. They just tell you, yo, shorten your breaks. Get in and get out. Let me tell you, get in, get out, make it short. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, at the end of the day, nobody is listening to the radio for Chris Cole. They listening because it's music on there, and they listening because it's free tickets. Yeah, you you you're not you're not that important. You know what I mean? Is you are, but you, but you're not. You know what I mean? The radio station was running before me. It's running with me. It's gonna run after me. And that goes for everybody that's been on the radio. Period. It don't matter how big you are and how big that check is. That check got another name on it. If you if you ain't handling your business, you know what I'm saying? Did, did anything surprise you? Did anything surprise me? Nope. I was ready for everything. It was just adjusting to what they wanted. Not, dude, you learn everything here. I'm, I'm serious. When I say you learn everything here at the American Broadcast School, you learn everything here. It's just about how much you're going to pay attention. You know what I mean? Because it's more than just get on here, hey, I'm such and such, and this is such and such station, and up next we got this song. It's just, it's way more to it than that, man. It's, it's, it's a science to it, you know what I mean? And if you pay attention to all that, the little stuff here, out there ain't gonna be a problem. Running, learning how to run the boards. See, the boards may differentiate at, uh, differentiate at every uh, radio station. I know the boards here ain't the board, same boards at K104, but I mean, they teach you, but you pretty much know the pot up, pot down. You know what I mean? You know. So they'll, they'll teach you that stuff Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, you don't know how to work that board? Oh, no, no. They'll show you. Nah. <laughs> nah, they, they'll show you. They'll, they, they, they will show you, man. That's one of the things I'm concerned about with almost being in school. Like, the stuff that I learned here might be different, like a different board or different. Yeah, it's going to be different board, different programs, but pretty much the programs are the same. Yeah. Nah, you good. You good. What, what, what is it here? Is it, what do we use here? Is it uh, with the program for editing? Cool Edit. So it's some, there's some people that still use Cool Edit at some station. We use, we use Vox Pro. I can't avoid a Vox Pro. How much is that thing? Because I know just the whole little. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, but I learned how to do it like nothing. I was even telling them. Like, I went to the, when I did my interview and I know how to use Cool Edit. I know how to use FL Studio, Pro Tools, Acid. 
in Adobe Photoshop, Microsoft, all of that. That all goes on your on your on your resume. They say, Oh, you so you know how to do edit, edit, edit uh audio. Yeah. That's pretty much all he needed to know. You got some type of experience in editing audio. I was like, so what do y'all use? Oh, we use Vox Pro. It's like, what's that? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You can learn it. It's, not, it's just another audio, uh, editing audio. I said that in the interview. I'm, that was, I'm thinking like, damn, that must have hurt my chances. <laughs> I said, what's that? <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, man, but, uh, and then uh, like, like probably like three days, uh, three days later, uh, the, the assistant program director, he gave me his number, uh, White Gary from the morning show, man. And uh, I'm worrying that hit, hurt my uh, interview. I'm like, man, what, what, where can I buy a Vox Pro? Because I want to learn right now. <laughs> like, I'm serious. I think this, this hurt my chances. I'm letting them know, though, look, I would go buy it right now and learn it if that's going to not keep me from getting the job. He's like, man, no, don't worry about it. If you, if you get the job, we'll teach you that. So, everything you need to know, man, right here. Right here. Yeah, everything. Any questions? You just graduated, and you just graduated, so I know y'all got some questions, anything about? All right. That, that's what's up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you you got some more? <laughs> Man. Yeah. My my immediate family like they was like and why are, you, why are you surprised? Like, we knew you could do this. Now go conquer some more. You know what I mean? Like, is they, I, got a, I got a tremendous uh, backing, you know what I'm saying, support system. And the only reason I was in all of that other trouble when I was early because I was hard-headed. Honestly, I got a tremendous support system. You know what I mean? But the city, the, everybody else, the city was on fire. <laughs> the, the city was on fire from, from, from Ditton to Carrollton. Oh yeah, it was like it was a big deal. Like man, I was like that's that was cool. Yeah, I went to school and didn't. But you know, but that it was it was to me it was cool. But I never got to hear myself on the radio. So all I'm asking is, man, how I sound? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I'm talking, but I can't hear my I, I can't ride in the car and hear myself while I'm talking. So I just wanted to know how it sound. But when I finally got to hear a commercial I cut and I was riding down the highway and I heard it, I was like, yeah, yeah, that's it right there, baby. Yeah, man, that was a, that was a good feeling. Yeah, the only, the only better feeling was hearing my song on the radio. Now, that was, that was even better. So that was tight. Yeah. I got one more question for you. This is, I'm going to ask this for all the single ladies in here. Uh, <laughs> Next question. <laughs> they ain't giving me none. They ain't giving me none. <laughs> this dude's crazy. Hey man, but American when you see about American broadcasting school though. Man. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you how it is, man. See about American broadcasting school. Yeah, no, I'm about to answer it this way by not answering it. Yeah. But see y'all went to school together, man. Like man. This is one of the best things to uh, remember the people you went to school with too, bro. Like man, I still keep in contact with a few of the students, man. We we always connect and hit each other up. You know, I see them achieving stuff, and I ain't the only person that got a job in this place, man. I'm telling you, it's a lot of people that's that's getting jobs. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's where it's at, man. It's just what you want to do with it, man. It's a lot of people that went here, man, and, and they just they thought, well, the job's gonna come to me. No, you would be no. Look, she's right there. She'll help you get a job. They, I don't know how they need to call her. You know, they need to come up here and, and get their resume right again. You know what I mean? They need to ask more questions and don't give up, man. Like, don't let nobody tell you that this ain't the place to be because I know it is. I'm living proof right now. I'm, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. Y'all want to be cool too? Y'all want to be cool with everything you're doing, man? Hey, sign up. 
And if you already finished school like some of y'all, man, stay in contact with her. And don't give up, man. Don't, do not give up. Because they hiring every day. They hiring every day. Every day. I'm not answering that question. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what, you got, you, did you go to school here? Or you? No, I'm just checking it out myself. All right, cool. Yeah, I hope you come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to try um, voiceovers for commercials. Yeah. Hey, man, they, they teach you everything. Yeah, a whole bunch of it. It's fun, too. I have a question, sir. All right. <laughs> Do you listen to the 6 o'clock swag? 6 o'clock swag? Yes. No. Wednesdays 5 to 7 radio Okay. Jay Lee. Okay. You'll love it. Thanks. All right, that's what's up. Plugs. <laughs> shameless plug yes yeah, shameless plug yeah so uh <laughs> 3 p.m 7 p.m k104 saturday yeah if you wanted to hear how them boys is ran tomorrow night 7 to 12 cat daddy show i'll be producing that show so yeah see how tight them boys is yeah, I mean, how them commercials and stop sets just flow. Yeah, I mean, all of that. Yeah. Anything else? Questions, 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 questions. I got a question for people that, that don't go to the school already, man. Y'all think y'all want to go to the school? Is it something that y'all y'all want to do? Something y'all want to do? I hope so. You down? That'd be one of the best decisions that y'all have made. Like I said, you ain't got to worry about no English and no math, man. You ain't got to worry about none of that stuff. Strictly radio, strictly music. Take advantage of that catalog of music that they got, too. I came in here straight Tupac and now Green. Now, I'm a big Led Zeppelin fan. It is what it is, baby. Take advantage of that, man, because you never know what genre of, of a radio station you may land in. Do, do some sports shows. I, I did some sports shows while I was here. Yeah. That, uh, some air checks. Now, did, they was with, uh, yeah, if you can find them, I did them with, there was somebody else, like whenever they did a uh, sports show and they needed somebody to come on for their air check, I go do it. Just to check it out. I mean, I watch some sports games, why not talk about it? You know what I mean? I mean, it's there. Take advantage of it. And most of all, it's have fun. It's, it's music. It's music. It's have fun. Hey, man, appreciate everybody coming. Thank y'all, man. <laughs>